hello friends uh the firstly i am just want to thank you you guys are really good you know you just appreciate my work also and there are a lot of comment and email i am getting for the vcdel troubleshoot and installation thank you thank you for watching our videos i hope this help it out to establish your call center so there is a one member is there on request i am doing this uh, video abhishek banerji one of the uh, uh, member who have comment in youtube uh, sir can you please make a video regarding asterisk server okay so it's all about the uh, video in asterisk server and we just you know step by step we are going uh, in video please stay stay tuned and uh, and troubleshooting yes there is a lot of thing in troubleshooting part even uh, today uh, and tomorrow maybe i am you know learning some new things it's a basically you know there is a no end process and how to restart asterisk server uh, using putty so yes absolutely uh, i will show you how to do that one and if two calls are coming same time how to fix this issue so i am not getting this point because you know the, the in call center shoot uh, there there might be lot of call is coming but i could not understand that point please mail us on details that in uh, and mostly used command in putty file using vc dial so there is lot of forum is there uh, the basic command commands line and we have covered mostly the basic commands in videos Uh, and please include how to enter in asterisk server using putty for standalone st setup in vcdial okay so let's start so this is my vcdial vcdial ip so you have to put uh, the ip address here ssh login and port number will be 22 sometime we customize for the security but, but by default it's 22 Let's open it. You have to enter your root uh, username as it and the password, whatever you have given or set it. And now, uh, to how to enter the asterisk server, right? You have asked that one. So asterisk minus rvv. So this is the asterisk you know, the application. You can reload your commands. There is a one more command is there. Sip reload. to reload your sip and dial plan reload sorry dial plan reload you can use your tab also it will be help if you are new so now one more thing i'm just cover up uh, you know how to uh, which are the main service in the uh, vc dial that is you know web apache basically and second is mysql and another one is as asterisk so how to you know restart your asterisk uh, service so you have to type service asterisk restart so here you can restart your asterisk service mysql restart this is for your mysql service which is your database and the next one is apache which is your web so this is the apache 2 is the service name so you can uh, uh, restart this and if you have to check your service is running properly or not so you have to basically command service mysql status so here is running same thing so i want to check the asterisk or the telephony uh telephony services service asterisk status so here is a show is running if there is any reason the the failed or you cannot you know the start your asterisk so you have to check by this status and here might be there is some logs is also showing this in service apache 2 right apache 2 status 
so here you can see my Apache is running perfectly so this is the thing so thank you for watching our video and please comment us if you need any help mail us even we have skype id for the voice you know the, the, sometime you cannot elaborate your problem in a uh, mail so please uh, you know add me on skype that will be better to communicate over the voice and one more thing thank you for watching our video